Pittsburgh's best sports show is about to begin. Call us or tweet us. We've got things to talk about on the Ireland Contracting Nightly Sports Call. Powered by FanDuel Sportsbook. Powered here by FanDuel Sportsbook on the Ireland Contracting Nightly Sports Call. Bob Pompiani with Gene Collier with you tonight at 412-575-2600. That is the number of the Bordis and Bordis hotline. You can call us. You can tweet us at KD Pump at Gene Collier. And we will certainly wish, let you know what we think about the items of the day, beginning with Mike Tomlin's announcement that Devlin Hodges will remain the starting quarterback. A lot of people thought it might be Mason Rudolph, but he is going to give this kid another chance, just as he did Mason Rudolph back when he struggled against the Cleveland Browns, and he followed that up by starting him the next week against Cincinnati, although at halftime he made a switch. So the question tonight, as we welcome in outstanding columnist of the Post-Gazette, Gene Collier, how short is the leash? Uh, about the exact length it was for Mason Rudolph. Mason Rudolph had a bad first half at Cincinnati, and then as you know, Bobby came out on the first possession of the second half and threw a really bad ball that you or I would have completed, actually, had we had just a little more time. Uh, and that was enough for Mike Tom. And I think it'll be a similar situation this week. Uh, I agreed with, uh, I mean, I thought he would go back to Rudolph, but I agreed with Mike Tomlin's reasoning on this, that, you know, uh, players of this nature tend to rally and try to overcome adversity, and he wants to give them that shot. You know, Mike Tomlin's smarter than I am. Uh, so I don't know about that. Go you, for it. You go can write it. an amazingly good column. Yeah, well, with words I've never heard. <laughs> well, <laughs> uh, I'm not sure they are words, but but, but uh, I I think I, I think the reasoning was pretty good. Yeah, he's going to give him a chance, and yeah. you know I think the game plan had a lot to do with what we saw with uh, the failures of Devlin Hodges. When you throw the ball as much as they did against that defense, which was number two in the NFL. I mean, it didn't make a lot of sense. Today, Mike Tomlin defended that, basically saying the game dictated. But then again, it was 10-10 in the fourth quarter. Yeah, and this was a game where uh, Duck Hodges had to throw the ball down the field, which he has not demonstrated yet that he is any good at. He's fearless about it, but maybe he should be a little bit more fearful about it. And I looked this up today, Bob, in third down situations where uh, Devlin has to throw for a first down. If it's third and seven or less, he's nine for 15. If it's mm -hmm. third and eight or more, He's five for 28. Uh, that's pretty that's, stunning. It's a big difference. Yeah. But I think a lot of quarterbacks. A lot of quarterbacks not, would have a yeah. similar stat, but I don't think not quite that not dramatic. Quite that. We saw last night an unbelievable. I want to ask you, Gene, because you're a smart man. <laughs> uh, Drew Brees goes 29 for 30. He passes yeah, for four touchdowns, 307 yeah. yards, no interceptions, and yet he cannot post a perfect passer rating. Yeah. How in the world is that possible? I don't know. Did he have an interception? No. No four interceptions. Four touchdowns, no picks, 29 for 30, wow. and yet it fell short of 158 points. Must have point. come up in the average uh, per catch or something oh, What like does that, that have to do with well, that? Well, right? everything has to do with that passer rating. You know there are about 14 different variables in there. If you don't hit them all exactly right, but yeah, 29 for 30, I think should win it for you. And there he is, number one on the all-time touchdown, touchdown passes list. over Peyton Manning. Brady still has a chance, but the way Breeze is playing, and you know, he's 96% completion percentage last night. That's an NFL record. The year 75% completion percentage. That's pretty that spot on. Incredible. It is. All right, Pro Bowl was out. He's on it, and he should be. But so are five Steelers. Leading the way for Baltimore, by the way, was Lamar uh, Jackson. They have 12, which is an NFL record. The Steelers had five, two on offense, both offensive linemen who've been there before, David DeCastro and Marquise Pouncey. Congrats to them. And then you saw on defense, T.J. Watt, Cam Hayward, and Minka Fitzpatrick. All those guys deserved it. Uh, I was a little surprised that, you know, May and Bud Dupree, I guess, is a victim of playing on the outside. There are a lot of good edge rushers in the true, NFL because – you can say that he's had he's had more sacks than some of the guys who got into the Pro Bowl tonight, but he doesn't have the reputation that many of them have either. Yeah, that's right. He is having a great year. I mean, the, you know, the Pro Bowl is just to start arguments, and I'm not going to argue about who's in the Pro Bowl. <laughs> Why? We have time together. Not, no. <laughs> All right. Also going on tonight, the Penguins are involved in the game in Calgary. Right. They started slowly, got outshot 17 to six in the first period, and they trailed one to nothing on a goal by Johnny Gaudreau. Tristan Jari, however, has played well, kept them in that first period, and now they lead 2-1 on goals by John Marino as well as Brian Rust. And Brian Rust right. has been unbelievable. He has now 30, 20 games yeah. played this year. Really, really hot, and he was sick for a couple of days, too. The Penguins had a power play opportunity right at the end of the first period. When they didn't cash it in, I thought they might be in for a long night, but they really rallied in the second period. Something about them. When they fall behind, they know yeah. how to turn it on and get back into a game, and they've done that in the second period. 
All right, we want to hear from you. It's 412-575-2600. That is the number to call. Get on the Board of Some Board is Hotline and air your opinions. You can do it now right here live on Pittsburgh CW. We're coming back right after this. The Ireland Contracting Nightly Sports Call is brought to you by Ireland Contracting, celebrating 25 years as Pittsburgh's number one home exterior expert in roofing, siding, windows, and gutters, where honesty and integrity still matter.